Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Christy here doing the weekly reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is for the week of November 21st through to November 28th. This is a general reading for your sign, so whatever is most prominent in your life, I encourage you to take these messages and apply them to, and hopefully you find them helpful in healing. So for a theme this week, I do have Sagittarius, uh, the moon in Sagittarius this week rather. So with that in mind, all readings will be themed around higher learning and awareness this week. So what does Gemini need to know about higher learning and awareness for the week of November 21st? I do want to mention quickly that I do shuffle until there are jumpers. If you're impatient for whatever reason or you don't have time, feel free to skip ahead in the scroll bar below. You'll see when the cards have been laid down and you can watch from that point, usually around the three minute mark. On the other hand, if you are a shuffling fanatic like me and you find it soothing, <laughs> stick around. I usually shuffle for a couple of minutes here. And I also want to give a quick shout out to all of my current subscribers. Thank you so much for your vote of confidence in my work. And thank you so much for watching my videos every week and giving me feedback. I really love doing this for you. So thanks for being here. All right. So with the theme being higher learning and awareness for you, my dear Gemini, um, it looks like there's still an element of aggression that you can't peel yourself away from. You might be angry about something deep within here or have an old grudge, so to speak, even though on the surface things look good or feel good or things seem to be smoothing out or something. I'm not saying you haven't been doing any work toward a certain relationship or a certain element of growth in your spiritual, economic, personal, romantic, any type of theme for you as this is a general reading. Uh, but whatever it is concerning here, it, there, you're doing all the quote unquote right things, but there still appears to be this sort of, um, this grudge, you know, within you. So, and, and don't think for a second that the other person or people can't feel it or don't see it. So you might be kind of fooling yourself here if you think that no one else knows that there's still a grudge or um, you're, you're sort of like your heart's half into something here. Um, but if, you, if you're doing it to protect yourself or if you're doing it for your own reasons, whatever those are right now, you know, that's, that's fine too. But just be aware that it's not like a big secret here. But I do see some things evening out for you. Maybe you're coming to terms with a something close to the heart. Maybe you've had a difficult conversation um, or you're willing to have a, a difficult conversation. Even if it's you coming to terms with something, like I said, before you even talk to someone else here, that that's, it takes a great deal of um, self-knowledge, right? And it takes a great deal of humility as well. You know, if you have to admit to something or you have to, you know, address something you'd rather not and that type of thing. So, in that vein, let us look at which card is in what position and then we'll um, get deeper into this reading for you. Porcupine represents you. This is innocence this week. Antelope represents your uh, influence to the current position. And of course, antelope is action. This is how I know that you've been actually doing something here. You've been taking steps um, to do the quote unquote right thing here or to make amends or... Uh, things of that sort. And then eagle, uh, we have spirit, okay? This is your probable outcome card. So this is how I know that you really are trying and you really are interested, um, but there's still, there's a little bit of a wall here because we, of course we have badger. This is general energy for the whole weekend. Badger is aggression. This is, but this is where we're feeling this inside okay this is not you're not projecting aggression necessarily but people can feel it because it's it's an essence in you and and you're close right you've got innocence you've got spirit like there's something really revealed about you there's something really obvious about you um if it's not simply because of the way you're acting or behaving things you're saying or not saying and that other person is perceptive enough it could just may be simply because you're already really close to that person and that person just happens to know you really well. So that's how they're just like, oh yeah, like on the surface things are fine, but I still feel something's a little bit wonky underneath or, you know, we haven't come, you know, uh, we haven't, we're not meeting 
in the middle type thing here. So um, just be aware that if that's happening, it's, you're not, I don't mean you're not fooling anyone in a mean way. I just mean that they're aware. So here we go. Individually here, we have porcupine. This is you. This is innocence. This is a real state of beauty and joy. Um, innocence is really just learning from the start. It It's kind of part and parcel of humility, if you really think about it. You have to um, start something new. You have to be able to be uh, vulnerable here. If you're innocent, you're automatically vulnerable, okay? Lots of sharks and snakes um, as personalities, not animals, uh, can really capitalize on that if you're not careful. Um, so yes, protect yourself here. Uh, I don't think the other person or people are out to get you necessarily, so I think you don't have to protect yourself from them. Um, but if there is an opportunity for you to be vulnerable this week, I would do that. Uh, do remember to be playful here, to remember um, that the simple things are the important things and the important things um, are the basic things. If you really think about it, um, like breath and um, affection, like, re like honestly, I mean it, like the simple things, not like, you know, getting up and having fresh brewed coffee. Like those are actually, like those are bonuses, right? even though we consider those the small things because if you're watching this, you probably live in, in some type of wealth, right? Where you have some type of hosing, and, like electricity and stuff like that. Like the, those are bonuses, Gemini. Like breath and having some measure of health in your body and in your life and in your world. Those are the very basics. So if you need to be innocent around these things or if you need to calm yourself down, uh, in any way this week or you know by remembering what's basic or what's important you can start there you can start with vulnerability and humility this week antelope here we have action this is where i know that you've taken action toward this um degree this week i i can see very clearly yes you've reached out you're doing what has been asked of you you've ha probably had a difficult conversation or are working up to that or making it known that you're willing to um just because you got to remember like i i recall the readings for the past several weeks for you so i I've been seeing this sort of in motion for a while. Um, you've probably taken a risk here and you've gone out on a limb. You've taken action. Um, it's led you to a place of, you know, probably reflection. Maybe you need to be vulnerable or you have been vulnerable recently. Um, even though it could be a little bit scary and even though you might not be getting quote unquote your way after being vulnerable. But let me just interject this. If you're doing this or you're acting humble, God forbid, you're acting it and not being it. We're looking at issues of intention here. And if you're acting a certain way and your intention is to get something out of it, I'm going to suggest that that's not legitimate. <laughs> that's not legitimate. You can't go act a certain way and behave in a certain way um, um, under guise, okay? Or, or, or with an intention or to get something out of it. This really has to be done. Any action around innocent and vulnerable innocence and vulnerability really needs to be innocent and vulnerable for its own sake okay gemini not vulnerable and innocent so you can shut someone up so you can get your own way so you can tick off a box that doesn't count okay so this is where we're looking at maybe some aggression maybe you're feeling you know i'm doing my part why isn't this person happy or why don't i feel better but well it's because maybe Maybe you're still trying to get something out of this and the intentions aren't pure. Um, so just consider that. Here we have eagle. As I said, this is your probable outcome. This is spirit. This is really a place that you can take it to the next level here. This is why I know you're capable. And I don't think the cards would be asking you to take something to the next level or really try to get to the heart of something here for you or really try to you know, overcome something difficult in your own life so that you never have to go through it again and, then, and you can, you know, close the chapter on it all together this is real this is a ghost right this is something that keeps following you around and you really need to be done with this is chewing up a lot of time it's chewing up a lot of energy it's a lesson really in my view probably yours that probably could be should be could be learned by now so maybe it's time to wrap this up you know really grow from this this is an opportunity this week so we're looking at themes of higher learning and awareness Gemini, don't miss this opportunity. You know, maybe it is the time to take the spirit 
perspective, the high view, the high road, the overall view, the not he said, she said, not my feelings were hurt that one time, not five years ago when you disappointed me. I'm saying on a grand scale, let's say you have 24 hours to live. How important is this to you? The spirit, okay? We're looking at the heart of the matter here. What is the long view? What are you getting out of this? What are you giving up for this? Uh, is your vulnerability, is it, is it a show, right? Is it a show? Um, are you just trying to appease somebody or are you vulnerable? Are you being really real right now? Just some questions to ask yourself. Badger, of course, I mentioned is aggression. We're looking at this as a general energy for the week. So action, innocence, spirit. Yeah, definitely headed in the right direction. Don't uh, kid yourself that you're not. You definitely have a little bit more work to do here. Um, but, you know, keep going in this direction. Take the spirit, the eagle eye. You're going to want to settle this level of aggression here. Perhaps you're just mad at the other person or group of people or experience or thought of whatever you're working through here. And it's just, you know, still creating a lot of aggression. Or you feel even if you'd rather not. Maybe it even surprises you. That could very well be what's going on. God knows that happens. If we think we're over something or we think something doesn't bother us. Or worse, we think that something shouldn't bother us. But it does. Um, and and that is that is going to make itself known. Okay? You're, you want to be real. You don't want to go you know, hiding these things in your life cards are getting really slippery and wow that's all backwards let's keep shuffling just looking for one more jumper here um yeah just basically make sure that your intentions are pure this week and that you take an eagle eye view okay soulmate see like someone's on your side someone has your best interests in mind you are probably interested in getting to the heart of the matter but you could just be really hurt um, again, what are your intentions? Is it to shut someone up? Is it to um, ostensibly let something go that you'd rather not get to the bottom of and therefore you can't possibly let it go because you didn't get to the bottom of it? You know, that kind of thing. And it's going to become what's going to feel like a vicious circle. So definitely get to the bottom of this theme <laughs> around intention and innocence and purity and... Um, if you're aggressive or feeling any aggression around a theme this week, around very possibly forgiveness, but in terms of higher learning especially, and well, awareness, right? Self-awareness. So we have two jumpers, truth and integrity and ideas and inspiration, 100%. Not surprised in the least to see this. Truth and integrity, I'm gonna suggest, is the most important card to take away from this reading. Uh, if you take nothing else away, truth and integrity are your best teachers this week. Really, really find value. And um, uh, uh, your teacher, this is your teacher this week. This will help you out of any garbage. Whatever you consider garbage this week, truth and integrity. That capital T, capital I, find your way out of garbage this week. 100% Gemini, guaranteed. And ideas and inspiration. If you're looking for a way to get to the heart of a matter, this would be a nice way, nice week to work through some of your aggression or poor feelings about a matter or a person or uh, a concept and come up with some um, really innocent, really fruitful, um, vulnerable uh, ways to do this, okay? Ways to treat the situation or the other other person and um it might even open your heart a little bit more and um take you from that sense of you know I'm, I'm going to play innocent as opposed to i'm going to be innocent all right i know it sounds like they might be the same thing but they're really not you want to be authentic you don't want to play authentic because it, it'll steal a sense of peace from you and other people. Other people see through it, so it just turns into a waste of time. So anyway, that is your reading for the week. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here with me. And as I said at the start, thanks to all my subscribers. But if you're not subscribed, do that today. It's free to do that. And if you like the video, leave a like. That really helps me out as well. So until we meet in the next video, please comment below. Let me know how your week goes. And I will see you next time. Take good care. Bye for now.